so things that I wanted to talk about, you know, the latest painting that I have uh, made quite a while ago. I mean, not quite a while, just a few days ago. So yeah, I'm gonna show that to you. I'm not sure if it's upside down or something. Like that. That's actually my latest painting. I'm just gonna say that uh, why do I paint this? But uh, I uh, something like that uh, from where I get the inspiration or whatever something that all the painters talks about all the time. Like when you paint something, definitely that you got the inspiration from somewhere else. Cause most of us are always not that creative or something like that. And, uh, we always at least see something fast and then get inspired by that and start painting so in my case like a uh, few days ago or uh, not few days a few months ago i come to know that a band christian uh, or you can say that christian band or something so this band is called hillsong united and they the most popular song by that band is called oceans so I saw a cover of Oceans and there is actually a lyrics video of that song and in that lyrics video uh, they had this painting on the background or like that where I see the, the painting of a girl so that the eyes were blurry. So when I saw that painting I was like that's beautiful man it's, you know, when you get the blurry eyes it's like uh, one of the most favorite things of me for myself like personally uh, that I like blurry stuff you know, all the time I like blurry stuff and not even just like in a painting my favorite one of my most painting uh, I mean fuck that shit one of my most like favorite albums of all time is blurry face by 21 pilots so I like blurry stuff you know, everything the music art painting cinemas whatever like emotional rally stuff from okarai something like that directors will always create like emotional angular you know those bloody stuff so when i saw that painting i was like that's beautiful and i got something like that so that's why i did something like this actually i did this background in just a few minutes maybe and everything like that uh, and but i had to dry it quite for quite a long time like uh, maybe i kept it outside i mean in my balcony for almost three or four days and uh, then i was like man i can't do the shit no i won't paint shit this in a couple of days but something like that because yet i had to study and i had the exams as well uh, and then suddenly i thought like uh, why not let's just complete the painting so what i did is that i painted these hairs and the body as well so when i painted the body the actual painting had these clothes around it oh sorry i mean these clothes <coughs> around it and actually it was probably uh, i'm not sure if the model is like european or russian i'm not sure but uh, the skin looks like Western culture, so. But I'm from Bangladesh, so you know I'm put up to some, you know, cultural hive in it. What I did is that I put a dress that has almost covers the whole area. I mean the whole area, and that will be like showing less skin. And I'm just showing the neck of the woman. And then what I did is that I painted the lips as well because I needed the lips I just wanted to blur out the eyes and then you can see a dark shadow through the you know left chin so that I can blur out the fact that the light is coming through this side and it, it the shadow falls on this side and the light falls on this side and then what I did is I didn't even paint the eyes because I didn't need the eyes and I didn't want to have the eyes as well at all. And uh, so what I did is that I didn't paint shit. Literally, I didn't paint shit in this side. I just had to put a little bit white, take a, take some time and wait till 
the paint you know dries out a little bit then i have to spray some more water then i put some a little bit of black color drop in this and then i used a you know big size of what a brush or whatever you call it and then just you know flat out the whole thing and it lives like this i think it looks pretty good to be honest still now i don't paint much maybe three four or five painting a year or something like that but still it feels like it's one of my favorite and it's my latest work at it it seems like every time i do new painting it's my favorite so whatever it is you know i hope you guys like it and oh, probably the thing is my wall is fucking green and that's fucking awful uh, if i had a white painting on my wall i would probably hang this thing on the wall because i love this painting and uh, whatever uh, maybe i will just post uh, put some posters like white poster and then i'll hang it on my wall and i'll do some more painting if i uh, get enough time in the future definitely because i love painting uh, it's kind of boring to be honest uh, it takes quite a long time and when you first do it i mean the first before the final result of the uh, actual painting it looks fucking terrible it looks like shit you know you try hard and hard and it doesn't come out like when you do the background you just bad background or maybe the basic you know, the basic design, the basic painting or skin, if you're drawing it, like, you are making a portrait or something like that, when you draw the skin, just it doesn't actually look quite good, but when the final result comes out, it's like, quite, I would say, amazing or something like that, uh, but I love it, I love the painting, it's not the finest or perfect work, I would say, because I'm still learning quite a bit, but yeah, I love painting, but, uh, it's no, it's quite good and uh, since I'm acrylic, uh, I'm using acrylic painting, and there are no why that the color would fade out or something like that because I don't use any kind of spray. Uh, so I think acrylic is a good option if you don't have any kind of spray to uh, make it, you know, what do I say, permanent because most of the colors like watercolors they fade uh, in long duration of time so whatever uh, that's it yeah, actually i thought this was going to be a short video but this is fucking long as fuck but whatever you know see you in the next video i'm just gonna take a shot for a thumbnail That's it, there you go.